Aloha everybody, this is Sean with Homestead in Hawaii. I am in my bathroom. What am I doing here? Well, today I'm going to discuss whether or not compost toilets are legal to have in Hawaii. Uh, the answer might just surprise you. Today, we're going to dive into compost toilets. Are they legal in Hawaii? Compost toilets actually are legal. I don't know the exact statute. I just read it. You could read it on my blog at homesteadinhawaii.com. And we wrote an article about compost toilets. And in there, the law says that any place that is unable to tap into the municipal grid system for for waste, um, that be the sewer, septic, whatever system it exists, they can have a compost toilet as an alternative to the septic or the cesspool, which is actually being phased out. You can have a compost toilet in Hawaii in that circumstance. And that is really cool news, guys, because in most places, compost toilets are not legal. It's considered really gross. People just don't even, can't even fathom the idea of composting your poop and pooping into something where one day you're just going to, you take your poop and put it in your garden. That is crazy. Now this concept doesn't work very well in cities, obviously. That's why it's not quite allowed. But when you live in the rural countryside like we do in Hawaii, especially out here in Puna where... There's lava rock and there's no digging pipes in that lava rock. Having a compost toilet is totally legal. Now, I have a five gallon bucket system. I've used the commercially available compost toilet systems before. And I have to tell you, I don't think I was that big of a fan of them. I don't know if I was managing them incorrectly, but I didn't really feel like they stayed bug free or that they stayed free of smell, they cost a heck of a lot, and for what I had to put into it, it just wasn't worth it. So eventually I switched to this five gallon bucket system. Underneath this lid here is a five gallon bucket that we just um, poop into. And then on top we put sawdust or, or wood chips. I went all over this in a previous video, but um, it's legal. Well, this, this system isn't 100% legal but it works better, in my opinion. What the county wants to see is a commercially approved variation of the compost toilet. And out there, there's a couple companies that are making um, compost toilets that are NSF certified and uh, legally allowed by the county to install in your home. Uh, they, they run roughly between one and $2,000 and they can handle anywhere from two to four people depending on the model that you get so you know the more people you have the the more often you're going to have to clean it out and vice versa but there's the sunmar compost toilet that is one of the main standard toilets and that one is a great toilet i started off with that toilet and you know it was okay it worked it composted the poop but um, you know, it was a little messy. It required a little more cleaning than I really wanted. And, um, but the poop was composted and it was good to use when it was all over with. Um, I did have to do a pretty decent amount of maintenance pretty often compared to this bucket system where I only have to deal with stuff once a month. Then we get to uh, another brand of toilet. It is the Nature's Head toilet, which a lot of people have been raving about. Um, it's, uh... I haven't used them myself, but it, it utilizes a different system that makes it a little bit easier to manage your waste and easier to clean. So those are definitely something that could um, be looked into as a viable option for having a legal compost toilet. Um, that's pretty much the main deal for me is how to clean them and how to, how to um, you know, keep the smell and the bugs away. So if those toilets work, I would definitely go with them. And then Sunmar makes a few other models. They have a few models where they can handle larger capacity. If you have a multi-story home, you could have a toilet on an upper level where there's a catchment 
um, basin down lower. Um, that is also legally approved. As long as it, the toilet says NSF certified, you are good to go with using it in Hawaii and be able to pass any sort of inspection when you're building your home. If you're living, you know, at a place where you have a limited water supply, this is also a great option. Not everywhere rains all the time, or like my place, I have a small water tank, and I am glad, especially right now during this little drought that we're having, that I have a compost toilet and I don't have to flush away that precious water. So another benefit to compost toilets is that you can feed your garden. Just like animal manure, manure your manure is gold. It, plants love our byproducts. We are part of nature. We are not separate from it. So consider your manure part of that ecosystem. And as long as you eat healthy, you poop healthy, the garden feeds healthy. So I hope this little video helped you along your journey. If you're thinking about compost toilets, if you're planning on building, or if you already built a home and want to replace the toilet you have and want to put in a compost toilet, there's no longer a question on whether or not it's legal. It is legal. It's written in the law books. Go to my website, homesteadinhawaii.com. Find out the information there. If you want to see the exact code, um, there's a link to the exact code itself that's on the internet. And, um, and, you know, don't worry, go compost, compost toilet all the way. There's no way that you can be regenerative or self-sustainable if you're not utilizing your humanure. That is a resource and it should be used. And there is no legal reason telling you that you can't do it. So I gotta say mahalo Hawaii for allowing compost toilets to be legal. That is really awesome of you. And I hope others out there take advantage of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a um, comment. Like this video. Do whatever you can to help us grow. Aloha. Till next time.